Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank and I recently added a Cynodontis catfish which I don't think I'm going to have any problems with but I also added a couple of Siamese algae eaters and I was a little concerned when I added them because I have a rainbow shark in this tank and while rainbow sharks are not as aggressive as red tail sharks rainbow sharks can still be pretty aggressive and typically they are aggressive with other fish that are either colored like them and I was actually concerned as it got older that some of these orange rainbow fish might be sort of a target for it it might be aggressive towards these rainbow fish since they've got that bright orange color but I've not seen any problem with the rainbow fish the other type of fish that rainbow sharks will be really aggressive towards is fish that are shaped like them. It doesn't really matter what color they are. If they've got the same basic body shape, the rainbow shark can be very aggressive towards them. And so far, I've been seeing an awful lot of aggression towards my little Siamese algae eaters. In fact, this is one of the first times I've ever seen the Siamese algae eater lying on the surface of a leaf. Uh, they normally, I have several of these in other tanks, and they normally lounge and lie around on the surface of the leaves. Here comes the rainbow shark again. Let's see what happens. Yep, that's what happened. We're getting this kind of aggression. I'm not sure where the shark went. There he is. He's going after him again. And so both of these Siamese algae eaters are, are just living in fear at this point. They can never relax. Again, he's chasing them all the way down to this end of the tank. So even a 125 gallon tank that's got this much, you know, lines of sight broken. That's one of the things they always recommend. Break up the lines of sight. You put plants and rocks and... Um, you know woodwork and stuff in there and the fish can't see each other and that will prevent the fish from being as aggressive towards each other and i mean that might help i, I guess maybe the fish would be absolutely relentless if they didn't have a place to hide but it's relentless enough that i don't think this is going to be something that i can do long term i think i'm going to have to get in there and try to either get those siamese algae eaters out or get that rainbow shark out of there and since the rainbow shark has been in this tank for a couple years now and i really like that rainbow shark in there that's the one that's going to stay and i can put those siamese algae eaters somewhere else so i don't know we'll give it a few days maybe that shark is just kind of bossing them around to let them know you know who's in charge and as they get a little bit bigger maybe the aggression will die down but if he keeps acting as aggressive as he's acting now i'm gonna have to do something about it i don't think he's necessarily gonna uh, physically injure the fish outright you know he's not gonna injure them by nipping their fins or banging into them too hard or anything but just the stress of being chased around constantly the never being able to relax uh, is not good for the fish and that in itself can kill a fish uh, in not too long a period of time if they're just continually stressed and continually harassed by other fish uh, that can take a toll so again I don't even see where they are at this point and that's my point is the Siamese algae eaters are just spending all their time in hiding and again in my other tanks where I have Siamese algae eaters they don't they just kind of lounge around they hang out they lay on the bottom they lay on the leaves they're not really super active fish and they're not reclusive fish so in this tank I've got them darting and dashing and hiding constantly and it's all just because of that red tail shark I mean um, rainbow shark and you can even see if you're not familiar with my rainbow shark it's usually not this active you really get the impression that it is now patrolling the tank it used to just kind of hang out and do its thing and it now really looks like it's kind of cruising the tank looking for those two troublemakers and so again I don't think this is going to be a tenable situation we're gonna to have to wait and see how this plays out over the next several days uh, the catfish, last time I saw it yesterday, it still looked good. It was in there hiding under some rocks. I have not yet seen it today. Not really sure where it's in there lurking. It's still pretty small, and there's lots and lots of places for it to get in there and hide. So, I mean, when you think about how uh, my tenopoma can get in there and just sort of vanish to where we can't even see the tenopoma, and I know it's in there somewhere. I was just looking at it. Oh, there it is. You see its little face, that sort of triangular point sticking out there in the center of your screen. That is the nose of the tenopoma sticking out. 
So that big fish can hide in this tank. You can imagine how well that little, um, you know, two inch long Cynodontus can stash itself away at this point. So there you go, just an update on the status of my new fish in my 125. Again, don't think it's gonna be tenable, but we'll have to wait and see, you never know. Uh, I also did wanna mention very, very briefly that I got some more new fish that are down there in quarantine. Nothing special, just some red wag platies, but I got some blue wag platies recently, and I think the red and blue fish together are gonna to look really good when I put them in my waterfall tank. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that or anything else. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that's a little bit of a wake up call to anybody that was thinking about getting a rainbow shark. They can be very aggressive if you've got the wrong kind of fish in your tank. So let that be a lesson to you. Any fish that are similar colors or similar shapes to the sharks and they will be really aggressive towards them. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.